hello my loves welcome back to my channel i hope you're having a lovely day today we're going to be making a quick dinner all right this dinner is delicious and packed with herbs and spices first thing we're going to do is rinse that shrimp with some lemon or lime or even some vinegar will do now i'm going to go ahead put my corns to cook we're going to give them a five minute head start i added some salt to my boiling water and then we're going to move on to seasoning our shrimp so just go ahead cover that down and for the shrimp i'm going to be using some mixed dry herbs all right some sweet spanish paprika i also have some cayenne pepper to give a little spice and some seafood seasoning and just a pinch of jerk seasoning all right now we're going to go ahead stir that up for those who love to marinate you can do this overnight and put it in the fridge but i'm going to be cooking this right away so now we're going to add our potatoes to the corn and i peel them and cut them in chunks and you don't necessarily have to peel them either you can just wash them properly and cut them up in the skin and just add it to the pot just like that and i also have two methods when i'm making herbed butter potatoes one you can cook the potatoes fully and then saute them in the herbed butter but the, for the second option you will need to cook the potatoes halfway through and then we're gonna add it in the garlic butter and put them in the oven to get them nice and toasty so either one you can choose so now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna make our herbed butter i'm adding my butter to melt and then i'm gonna go ahead and add my garlic the garlic all depending on you and your preference i'm adding just a tablespoon but if you like a lot of garlic feel free to go ahead and let loose i added some dried parsley or you can use a fresh one some red pepper flakes some finely chopped scallion and some finely chopped red bell peppers just to add some color and a little flair now burnt garlic is very bitter so you want to make sure you turn your stove down and just go ahead adding your shrimp all right once the shrimp is sauteed for a few minutes you can pump up at the stove and cook this for about six minutes because you want the shrimp to be nice and juicy and not rubbery so don't cook the shrimp for too long i apologize for my neighbor's dog in the background whenever i decide to do a voiceover that's always when the dog is outside <laughs> and he's constantly barking all right so now my shrimp is ready i'm gonna go ahead and remove them from the stove now if everybody in the house eats shrimp feel free to go ahead and add your corns and your potato in this same butter but not everyone in my house eats shrimp so we're going to go ahead and we're going to make a different herb butter and i'm going to add that to my potatoes and corns and i'm sprinkling on some black pepper and some salt all right you can pop this in the oven and get it nice and toasty like this this is one of my favorite way to do it or you can just saute it in the butter and have it just like this on the plate whichever one you decide to do it's fine and this is a quick dinner and it's super delicious i hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as i enjoyed making it all right thank you for watching enjoy the rest of your week stay safe show some love and i'll catch you in my next video and don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it all right